Welcome to how to create a set of flat animal icons in Adobe Illustrator. Hi, I'm Jonathan Lamb, a digital artist with Tuts Plus, and in this video, we'll learn how to create these cool characters from scratch so that you can use them in your own projects and designs. If you're looking for some inspiration, check out Envato Elements, where you can get unlimited downloads of video templates, stock video, audio tracks, and effects. That's millions of creative assets all ready to use and with simple commercial licensing. Plus, no lock-in contract means that you can cancel at any time. Subscribe now with the link in the description. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Envato Tuts Plus channel for even more free tutorials and courses. So now that we're in Illustrator, you can see here that I've created these colored boxes. These are all color schemes that I've created to be used for each animal. And they're basically just colored shapes that I can use and conveniently move around for reference with the eyedropper tool when needed. And feel free to use your own colors when following along or making your own animals. So let's go ahead and use the ellipse tool here. And we're just going to draw a circle and I'm holding down the shift key to create a perfect circle like so. And I'm just going to use the eyedropper tool, which is I on the keyboard, to go ahead and reference that color there. I'm going to grab these two anchor tools here. I'm just going to use the direct selection tool and drag them down ever so slightly. And in fact, I'm just going to go ahead and delete the one half of our cat here just so that we can work with one half. And then using the eraser tool, so over here, which is Shift E, press Alt on the keyboard to create a rectangle like this. And I'm going to delete the top half of our cat head like so. And now once you're happy with that shape, I'm just going to press Control C to copy, Control Shift V to paste it in place. Right click on that shape, transform, reflect and we're going to reflect vertically and then just move that shape into place like that. And then if you want to go ahead and select both of these, go to the Pathfinder tool and unite them. Next, we're going to use the polygon tool and we're going to create a three sided polygon by pressing either up on the keyboard or down on the keyboard. So here we've got a triangle and we're going to go ahead and shape this triangle by going to Effect, Warp, Bulge, select Vertical, and then bend it by 40%. Click OK. Then go to Object, Expand Appearance to confirm that. And then from here, we're just going to use our Direct Selection tool here. Select the top anchor point and click on that. Then just going to move this up slightly and then shape the handles a little bit like so. And then from there, we're going to select this, press Control C to copy, Control Shift V to paste that into place. And then we're going to make this slightly smaller, then press I on the keyboard for the eyedropper tool and select the color that you want for that. Select all of those, press Control G to group that. I'm just going to transform this and rotate this around like so and move this into place. And then we're going to go ahead and copy this transform, reflect vertically, and move that into position, arrange center back. Next, let's go ahead and draw inside the face. And let's draw a small circle inside the face. And again, I'm just going to delete half of our circle so we can shape it to how we want. Moving it down slightly, sort of following the curvature of our face here. And then I'm going to move this anchor point up like so and change the handle like this, just so that it's pointing down a little bit. And then once you're happy with the way that it looks, let's go ahead and copy this shape, Control Shift V to paste it, transform, reflect, and then Let's go ahead and merge these with the Unite. So I'm just going to zoom into the face here. And first of all, let's select our pink color here. And then I'm going to use the Pen tool to draw out one half 
of the nose. So it's just going to be a triangle like so. And then what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to select that, paste it, transform reflect, and then combine the two. And then using our direct selection tool, let's go ahead and round the corners here like that. Cool. And you can use these small little circular widgets inside each corner to make them as round as you want. And then once you're happy with the way that it looks, just go ahead and move that into place. And then we're going to create a nice little highlight for our nose here by using the ellipse tool. Just going to create a ellipse like that. Place it over our nose and make sure that it's all centered by selecting them both, horizontal line to center. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select our nose, press Control C and then Control Shift V to paste it in place. And then select both of these shapes and use either minus front or intersect to create this shape here. So now that we've got this shape here, let's go ahead and use our eyedropper tool to select this highlight color. And now you can see we've got this nice little highlight for our nose. Excellent. Now the next thing we're going to do is create the mouth down here. So let's use the ellipse tool. And we're just going to create a circle down here. And I'm just going to use the eyedropper tool to select this color. And then we're going to select this. And we want to right click on this and arrange send backwards and keep sending it backwards until it's below our face like that. Cool. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to create the eyes. So let's go ahead and select our eye color here. And we're going to use the pen tool. And let's zoom in to our face and draw out the eye shape. Now just click and drag with the pen tool to create a nice curve like so. And then click the anchor point here again. Click and drag to create the curve and then join it up like so. And then you can adjust the shape by using the direct selection tool again, and then just moving our anchor points and our handles like that. Just going to make the eye a little bit bigger. And then once you've done that, let's go ahead and create the pupil. So select our dark color here use the ellipse tool. I'm just going to draw out our pupil holding shift on the keyboard and then pasting, placing that in place like so. And then once you're happy with where it is, let's go ahead and use the same trick again. So I'm going to duplicate the eye shape by pressing control C on the keyboard, control shift V again, and then selecting both the eye shape and the circle we're going to go ahead and use intersect and then just go ahead and eye drop it all. And there we go. Cool. Next, let's go ahead and create the highlights. I'm just going to use a small little circle here and eye dropper the white like that. And then we're going to create the eyebrow. So let's use this ellipse tool draw out a small little ellipse here, and then use the eyedropper tool, pressing I on the keyboard to select that brown, press V on the keyboard to select our selection tool, and then just going to rotate that into place like so. And then once you're happy with that, let's go ahead and select all of these by pressing shift on the keyboard, selecting all of those, press control G to group them, move them into place and then press control C and control shift V to duplicate. Right click, transform, reflect. I'm going to use this trick 
quite a few times throughout this video. Move that to the other side. Now for the puppy, we're just going to use the pen tool here and we're going to draw out the first half of the face, like so. And then just clicking and dragging using the mouse to create these curves. And then pressing A on the keyboard to make any adjustments to our anchor points, like so. And then once you're happy with the face, duplicate it by pressing Control C again, Control Shift V to paste it. Right click, transform, and reflect. Put those two together. Just going to draw out the ear, like so. Just clicking and dragging using the mouse to create these curves. Pressing A on the keyboard for the direct selection tool to make any adjustments to our anchor points and handles. And then once you're happy with it, press Control C on the keyboard, copy, Control Shift V to paste it. Going to select this color here with the eyedropper tool. And then we're just going to make this a little bit smaller. Select both of these, Control G to group them. And then let's go ahead and copy that. Press Control C, Control Shift V, then right click, transform, reflect, move that into place. And then selecting the ears, right click, arrange, center back. Just going to draw out a circle and then just move that into place. Create a, another ellipse here, just a squashed circle here, like that. And then just moving that into place there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select both of these, Control G to group them, and then duplicate them, transform, reflect, and then move those to the other side, like that. And then we're just going to go ahead and group all of that, group all of our shapes and make sure that they're all center aligned. Now, in fact, I'm just going to move these circles slightly closer together and then make them a little bit bigger like that. And in fact, make these closer together as well. Cool. And then once you're happy with that, let's go ahead and create the nose. I'm just going to select the color for our nose here. I'm just going to create a squashed circle for the nose and then just move the anchor point down a little bit and then move these two anchor points down as well. So select both of those anchor points on the side and then move them down. And then just going to use the handle here and just move that slightly. In fact, let's go ahead and move that all the way to the center here like that to create our nose and then move that to the center of our face like so. Cool. And then once you're happy with that, let's go ahead and cover that color piece of color there. We're going to go ahead and create the tongue. So let's go ahead and select the rounded rectangle tool and create that over here like so. And you can see here with the direct selection tool, we can make the corners as round or as sharp as we want as before. And then we're going to go ahead and use the eyedropper tool to select our tongue color. Move this into place. And in fact, let's go ahead and create a line for our tongue, like so. Make sure that's in the middle. Group these and then keep sending this to back. Keep sending this backwards until it's below our face, like so. Cool. Now next we're going to create the eyes for our dog. So let's go ahead and use the ellipse tool, draw out our eye, and we're going to use a blue color for that. And then select this color, 
draw out the pupil. And then draw out the highlight. And this is going to be a white color, like so. And then once you're happy with all of this, group all of these together. I'm just going to zoom out here so we can see what our face currently looks like. And from here, we're just going to go ahead and duplicate our eye. So Control C, Control Shift V, and move that into place. Now let's go ahead and ungroup all of our shapes for now. And we're going to move our eyes, our nose, and our mouth, and just move it to the side here. And we're going to use the ellipse tool here, draw out a big circle. And in fact, let's convert that into a stroke for now so you can see underneath our, our face. And we want to make this circle uh, line up with that corner of our cheek there. And let's make this a little bit bigger like that. And once we're happy with the way that it looks, let's go ahead and convert that back into a fill color. Copy and duplicate the shape of our head. Select both of these shapes here. And then with the Pathfinder tool, let's go ahead and intersect. Then for this shape, we want to utilize this color. Let's duplicate this shape here. Transform, reflect, and place that onto the other side. And then once we're happy with the way all of this looks, let's group all of these and place our shapes or our face details back in like that. And then let's go ahead and create some nice cheeks for our eyes. So I'm just going to use the ellipse tool and then just draw out half a circle to cover up our eyes slightly like so and then duplicate that shape and bring that over to our other eye, like that. Now selecting our first color here, we're going to use the pen tool and create an eye shape for the first half of our head. And then once you're happy with the way that it looks, go ahead and duplicate that shape, reflect it, and then join these together. Use the pen tool again to create the ear, exactly the same way as what we did with our puppy. Duplicate that shape. We're going to eyedrop a tool that color. Make it a little bit smaller. Group those up. Duplicate it. And reflect it. And take that to the other side. So again, making an ellipse like so, and then using the direct selection tool to make any adjustments to the shape of the nose like that. Just going to align that to the center of our face. Then we're going to use the ellipse tool. Make sure to choose stroke. And we're just going to draw out a smile for our raccoon. Now let's go ahead and make the stroke a little bit thicker like that and use the direct selection tool to delete the top anchor point so that we're left with this bottom smile here like so. Cool. Now let's go ahead and group those two together. We're going to move those over to the side for now. And you're going to select the top part of our head and duplicate that, make it a little bit smaller and we're going to choose this darker color here. And then we're going to do the same thing again, duplicate it, make it a little bit smaller, move it slightly up, and then choose this lighter color here like that. Move these elements back into place, but first we need to go ahead and select these, arrange, bring it to front, place that in our face like so. And then we're going to draw our eyes. So let's select the ellipse tool, draw out a circle for our eyes, one circle, another circle 
for the highlight and just using the eyedropper tool here just to eyedropper select the white move that into place let's go ahead and group those together and then just move the eye into place where you want it and then duplicate that eye and place that onto the other side like so now finally use the rectangle tool to draw a rectangle straight down the center of our face make sure it's aligned to the center and I'm just going to color this a different color to see what I'm doing and then we're going to select both this shape and the rectangle and under the pathfinder panel we're going to select minus front to delete that part of the shape and then once that's done just simply select that arrange and keep sending it backwards send backwards until these elements are back in front the next animal we're going to create is a panda so let's start with the ellipse tool and draw out a circle here like that just going to focus on one half of the face as we've done before. So using our direct selection tool, just going to move this anchor point down here like so, and then duplicate the face, reflect it, and let's see what that looks like together. Going to create a circle for the ear, and then selecting our lighter color, creating a, another circle inside it. And then once you're happy with the way that that looks, go ahead and group those together, duplicate them and reflect it. Move over to the other side, arrange and bring that to front. And now we're going to select this color and let's go ahead and create an ellipse here like so. And then just rotate it. And then we're going to create a, another circle using our lighter color on top like this place that there and then choosing our darker color here again and create an eye inside it like so cool now let's create the nose so using our dark color let's go ahead and create the nose here select both of these anchor points on the side. I'm just going to raise them up slightly and the anchor point at the bottom. I'm going to move that down and I'm going to use our ellipse tool again. Draw out one circle here and convert that into a stroke. Make that a little bit thicker, so maybe seven points. Put that over here like so. Delete the top anchor point and let's see what that looks like. So let's go ahead and rotate this slightly and move that over to the middle. And let's go ahead and duplicate that. Awesome. Now we have our panda. Let's move on to the wise bear. Now for the wise bear, let's start with the ellipse tool, draw out a circle for the face like so. And we're just going to grab two anchor points here drag them down and then we're going to use the eraser tool hold alt on the keyboard to erase the top part of the head like so and then we're going to use the direct selection tool and over here where the corners are we're going to round them off like that and then let's go ahead and make the shape of our head a little bit longer create a rectangle I'm going to draw out the nose like that and then we're going to just go ahead and make this part a little bit longer and this part a little bit shorter and then we can duplicate this and then let's go ahead and round these corners here like so. So using the ellipse tool to create the nose here 
and then we're just going to duplicate this shape, make it a little bit smaller by holding shift on the keyboard. And then I'm using the eyedropper tool to create a highlight here, like so. Use the ellipse tool here. And then we're just going to keep sending this back until it is below our mouth or below our nose. So right click, arrange, send backwards using the circle tool. Duplicate that, make it smaller, and then choosing the darker brown color here. Press I on the keyboard to use the eyedropper tool. I'm just going to move this to the corner of the head. Duplicate that, transform, reflect, and over on to the other side. So a circle for the eye here, and then another circle for our highlight. Press I and click on the white. And then from there, let's go ahead and group these together, move it into place. Just gonna make this a little bit smaller and then control shift V and paste another eye on the other side like so. Okay, next we have the cunning fox. So again, let's start with the shape of the face and we're just going to make the shape of the face with the pen tool like so. Duplicate that and reflect it. And then let's go ahead and unite that. And then we're just going to zoom in here and make the curve of the top of the head a little bit curvier, like so. Next, let's create the ears. So again, using our pen tool, just going to draw out our ears like so. And then let's go ahead and make any adjustments with the direct selection tool. Okay, duplicate the ear, making it smaller. And we're just going to choose a darker color here with the eyedropper tool and then placing it on top. And then if you want, you can choose the direct selection tool here and curve out the corners of the ears. Group that and let's go ahead and duplicate it, reflect it, and move it into place like so. And then we're just going to send these to back. Excellent. Now let's go ahead and choose a lighter color. I'm just going to create the cheeks of our fox. Just a little bit over here. Duplicate the shape of the head select both of those shapes and then select intersect. Then we're just going to go ahead and use the eyedropper tool to select that color. Duplicate that, transform, reflect, and place it into place. Next, we're going to do the nose. So select the dark color here. I'm just going to go ahead and draw out an ellipse here make sure it's all aligned to the center. Duplicate the shape of the head, select the nose and intersect. Press I for the eyedropper tool and then select the color that you want. Next, let's go ahead and duplicate the shape of the nose. And we're going to make a highlight here and make this a little bit smaller like so and round off the corners. You can round off the corners for the nose here as well. And then next, let's go ahead and create the eyes. So a circle for the eye, a circle for the highlight. And then just group those, duplicate it, and place it into place like so. 
And the next thing here, we're going to use a lighter orange color here. And we're just going to create strands of hair to indicate some fur. So just simply duplicating these to create a pattern. And there we have a cunning fox. So there you have it. How to create a set of flat animal icons in Adobe Illustrator. If you liked this video and would like to see more, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of any new and inspiring videos. Check out the Envato Touch Plus channel to learn more Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, After Effects and more. Have fun and I'll see you next time on Tuts Plus.